Hi, I'm Savannah Dunn with Keller Williams Realty and Allen, and I want to introduce you to the virtual tour of our newest listing on 11005 Downbrook Drive in West Frisco. This home is located in the trails of West Frisco, which is just minutes away from downtown Frisco, which is such a quaint area, along with the Legacy West area, as well as minutes away from the uh, Frisco Golf Club. So what's great about the trails is there are two community pools and two elementary schools in this neighborhood and one of those elementary schools is literally right down this trail so from your front porch you could walk straight down the trail and the school is right over here for elementary there's also a park on the other side of the home that's a couple streets over that you can go to and the community pool is that direction which if you check out the drone photos you can see everything on the map so I wanted to show you first the front porch because it is such a huge front porch this is actually a double French door that opens to another room in the house that is open to the front door uh, front porch area so let's go on inside some things to know about this house is it is three bedrooms but do not let that fool you because it is 2,900 square feet so two and a half bathrooms 2,900 square feet tons of flex spaces is what we're gonna call these the first of the spaces is this dining room so the formal dining room does open onto the front patio which is such an interesting and unique uh, characteristic uh, that I've never actually seen before so I'm really excited to showcase this in the home the entryway is two-story entryway I know a lot of buyers are looking for that grand feel when they walk into a home and surely you get this at this home as well and then there's this sitting area over here which would be a great space for a potential office um, or a reading area or even a small playroom whatever works best for you now look at this so I'm going to show you this room next so next we have we have this stairway uh, which has got wrought iron uh, rail or wood and railings and then if you go up the stairway it's a woo hold on hold on technical difficulties let's bring this down okay so if you go up the stairway it's halfway up the stairs you go straight into this room and this room could potentially be an office if you need something a little larger that you can close off uh, it does open to the front of the house and it's got these gorgeous French doors and window that really open up the space. So this does overlook to the downstairs, um, or it could be a great guest room for your guests. So let's go, before we go all the way upstairs, let's go downstairs the rest of the way first before we get too carried away. So let's go back down the stairs. You do have some under the stairs uh, closet space right here. And then we walk straight out into the open area of our breakfast nook dining and kitchen and living area so in the kitchen we have granite countertops the microwave gas range sink faucet and dishwasher have all been recently re replaced this is your pantry tons of cabinet space and storage in this kitchen nice walk-in pantry let's turn around so you can see double ovens great for entertaining and very neutral cabinets and backsplash so you can kind of do whatever you want to do in this space so what's really neat about this house too uh, it has a great size laundry utility room that you could potentially there's your full-size washer dryer here's out to your full-size two-car garage it's a 20 by 20 space um, and then you have this area behind the door which could be a great spot for a freezer and then look at this door so you walk into this door and you have a full 16 by 10 square foot place uh, bonus room with a door that opens to the exterior so the original owners actually enclosed this space it used to be a third car tandem garage and if you know a lot of people who have tandem garages a lot of times they like to turn the tandem space into storage for golf carts or boats but sometimes they'll even turn it into a home gym uh, this could be a really fabulous home gym it does have its own HVAC wall unit and then on top of that in North Texas we do get tornadoes time to time under here is a great little space that could be a fabulous tornado shelter. It actually is underneath that first bedroom we saw, the flex room. Um, it's about maybe four and a half feet tall, and you can either put Christmas decorations under there or you can set it up for um, a safe space in case there's any inclement weather. So let's move back out into the kitchen. I want to show you a great little space um, over by the powder bath. So we'll walk on through here. So you have your breakfast nook, this very good size nook and table set. And then right here, 
you can see there's a great little built-ins for maybe if you have a spot that you want to do for your home office, um, bills, homework, home school, um, it's a great use of space. And then there is a nice little powder bath right here with some natural light as well. So that's all right there. So your guests don't have to go upstairs to use the restroom and then we walk into our living space. So the living room has a gas fireplace with all these beautiful molding around it, uh, plantation shutters that are two stories high, two story size ceiling, ceiling fan, window seat, and tons of space. Something I really like about this area is the views to the backyard, along with you can actually see the views upstairs to the game room and the uh, master above. There are doors that close this off from the living room as well. So why don't we go take a peek at the master and the bedrooms upstairs and see what we can see up there. So, whoops, let me turn this around. I gotta figure out which wall. I feel like I'm Ghostbusters right now. Let's do this. Okay, turn, we'll go up the stairs and one more. So right at the top of the stairs, um, you have a full-size bathroom and bedroom that are kind of off to the side uh, this bedroom features a walk-in closet, and it's a really good size. So here is your bathroom with your shower-bath combo. They did update the tile around the bathroom and the floors, and then you've got your powder sink with some storage. So, and then the bedroom is right on the front. Let's get this figured out. Here we go. Good window, oops, and, uh, and a ceiling fan. So, whew, let me get this going. Hold on a second. There we go. Okay, so you do have a uh, walk-in closet as well with some storage space and some custom hung shelving. So, and then something really neat to take into account as well is some more flex space. So here is an open area that can be a great game room, playroom, TV room, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, and then this feeds into another bedroom. This is your second bedroom right here. This has a reach-in closet, good natural light. By the way, all the carpet and paint have been recently redone. The carpet was just done in August, so that's super fresh. No one has actually lived in the house since the carpet has been there, so it's brand new carpet for anyone living there right now. And then here is your owner suite. So the owner suite has plantation shutters as well um, and tons of room. Look at this. So you have room for seating over here, overlooking the living area, as well as um, a full size. Actually, you could put a king size bed. The staging right now is with a queen size bed right now. So with plenty of room on either side for your nightstands. So, and then the owner's ensuite bath has had some updates to the flooring, um, as well as the shower tile has been updated with the surround. Really, really tasteful. Looks great in there and dual sinks and a great size uh, owner's closet. So here's the closet. So you've got two shelves to hang clothes on, plus some storage right there, and another side over here. So tons of room in this house. It is such a fabulous floor plan. You really have to see it in person to get a great feel on what how the space is laid out. I really hope this virtual tour has kind of given you an idea of what the floor plan looks like. Uh, there is a link to it so you can walk through it yourself if I went a little too fast um, and kind of see what's going on with it. And like I said earlier, the aerial photos will really help out as well as the photos from the listing. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My cell phone is 214-549-9409. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. And if you know anybody that would be a great fit for this home, go ahead and share it with them. Thank you for watching. Savannah Dunn, a done deal done right.